Hello, my Sagittarius friends. Uh, this is your uh, Saturn retrograde in Aquarius reading. I will be doing the Saturn retrograde in Capricorn reading uh, next month, end of June. Uh, right now, this uh, energy that we're going to be reading is for the month of May and June. Okay, so the main theme uh, that is coming along for your Saturn retrograde is guidance and intensity. So what this tells me is that Saturn is going to act, you know, being the, the teacher, the mentor, the, uh, you know, uh, the planet of karmas. It's going to teach you some lessons and those lessons may uh, feel like they're coming very harshly, but it's kind of a reality check because of some of the things that have been happening in your past um, you're going to be forced to look at the choices you've been making and try to come to a decision uh, in terms of what you're doing okay so with the star uh, inverted i see that uh, there is uh, you know with the star when it's not uh, in reverse, it's a very positive card. It's talking about miracles. It's talking about inner clarity. But here, with it being reversed, this means that your thought process is clogged. You know, uh, you're unsure of things uh, that are happening in your life, and it's kind of your own doing uh, because of the decisions you've been making. Okay you have a clouded judgment about the path you want to take and move forward. Then with the Seven of Swords appearing right after, I see you guys having an attitude of an escapist, okay? Uh, this is somebody who uh, does not want to admit when they're wrong. They'd rather just run away from anybody who's trying to bring them any sort of guidance or help and this person is an, uh, also somebody who's um, uh, perhaps, um, you know, involved in some sort of, I don't know, <laughs> I'm getting the word theft in my mind. You've either, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, like, I, know, I don't generally get this word, but for some reason I keep getting theft. Um, perhaps, um, you know, uh, it could be theft of the precious time that you could have spent doing, uh, you know, good things in life, but the fact that you have robbed yourself uh, of that opportunity and put yourself in the state, yeah, I, I, I feel that's what I'm getting, robbing yourself of the good that you could have given yourself because you're so... Um, uh, I don't know, you're trying to uh, move into a direction that is not meant to be the right direction for you. And you know it, but you keep doing it persistently. You know, this person's looking back. Uh, of course, they know what they've done is wrong, but they keep doing it. You know, it's like a stuck negative pattern that you're living in. And then with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse, it just shows me that you don't want to work hard on yourself. You don't want to work hard at all. Whether it comes to some of you perhaps are uh, in between jobs or, uh, you know, you don't stay at a job for a long time. Or perhaps uh, you take your work not so seriously or relationship or whatever it is that this concerns you, uh, uh, you know, concerns in your life. Uh, for some reason, I can't keep feeling it's um, you know working hard on yourself because you know the whole process of being here on earth is about evolution of the soul because the soul can't really evolve when it's uh, you know not in it uh, in, in an incarnated form okay so right now your soul is longing for that evolution that you're denying you're robbing yourself uh, that evolution that you're supposed to have so you can move into a happier phase in your life so 
uh, with Saturn retrograde, you're going to be given two choices, okay? Of course, it's not going to be an easy process coming to this part, but you're going to be given two choices either to stay stuck in this energy that constantly de drains you and, uh, you know, uh, doesn't let you get to a place where you feel happy and fulfilled, uh, okay? Uh, so it's either staying in that energy of the past or moving forward towards more clarity, new vision of your life, and then receiving it. This is the first card of the Zodiac, and this is, you know, a major arcana, the, the magician. So it plays a very, very important role. It talks about fresh energy a new vision for your life but of course getting to that place is going to require a lot of work on your part and saturn is going to make you slog it out because it wants you to get out of this energy to move into a fresher energy because with the magician and the page of cups appearing it tells me that you know uh this energy is going to be made available to you if you choose to move forward and let go of this past toxic behavior that you have all right and for some of you like i uh, i'm seeing that you want uh and long for a relationship or something you know to start a family or perhaps you know get a better job i see with the page of cups appearing that that's what is going to happen once you let go of this negativity you're going to receive uh what you so want because you will be able to um achieve that with the clarity and the new vision you create for yourself perhaps you'll date better people you know um perhaps uh it could be uh you know you would not undermine your own abilities and uh, apply for a job that you haven't really uh, applied for uh, or it could be you know starting something fresh starting uh you know uh maybe uh, a degree you know uh, because uh, with the page of cups it's a young youthful energy and it's also very studious energy so some of you could want to pursue further education to you know um, get a better jobs or better job opportunities in the future so like I said you know Saturn is going to be a strict teacher to you guys um, because it wants you to stop being, uh, you know, harsh on yourself and your souls and move forward. So because you're not changing, it's going to force you with a lot of intensity. I see it coming because it's guiding you away from this pattern. This is you and that is Saturn, you know, coming in and saving you from yourself and your past negative patterns, okay? So, my Saji friends, I really hope that this reading has helped you and um, I look forward to, you know, uh, receiving your comments and your messages. I really love hearing feedback. Um, you know, it tells me that, um, you know, the effort I'm putting forward, you guys appreciate that. And I also appreciate that I'm able to make a difference in your life. Okay. So I wish you guys all the best. And, um, if you want a personal reading and want to know more in depth about this energy, uh, you can get in touch with me. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.